Joining me now in the studio, Olivia Grégoire, the head of Olicare. Hello, thank you very much indeed for coming in. Now, the pollsters got it right this time. They did predict Emmanuel Macron would come out on top in yesterday's first round of voting. Is it that they got it right, or is it that the French public voters were influenced to some extent by the pollsters and perhaps also by the media? Well, the question is uh, very good, but it's very uneasy to say who managed to influence who. So, first of all, I would say that uh, according to the past election, uh, but above all, according to 2002, uh, the, the polls were right. And we got several um, poll institutes made good estimation. If I can just interrupt, I'm sorry, 2002, yeah. because that's when Marine Le Pen's exactly. father, Jean-Marie Le Pen, got through to yeah. the second round. And it was a, a rough moment for the, the poll uh, institute and polls experts. Um, it's interesting also to see that the only little failure was uh, about abstention, because the, we were waiting for a strong abstention, and the fact is that people were uh, the, the mobilization was important to go to vote yesterday. So, but they thought there'd be a lot point, of apathy because of the various yeah. scandals. Well, this is um, what say uh, what often say poll expert is that because uh, the last uh, weeks just before the, the the election of yesterday, there was a lot of uh, people and media saying that we were afraid about abstention and the key point about mobilization, and sometimes it do have an effect on the vote, because people uh, imagine that people won't go to vote, so they decide to mobilize themselves because they are afraid about what should happen if they don't go to vote. So there should have been a, a little effect about um, talking about abstention just before people were to go yesterday to go to vote. But what's interesting also is that we had in France, like in the US and the UK for years now, uh, new tools that were coming in this uh, election with all the big data and predictive and analytics uh, that, that can um, that try to reveal the, the result of yesterday. And it's clear that uh, today the victory is the victory of the poll more than uh, the victory of the predictive new tools and big data. Now, the highest score yesterday was Emmanuel Macron's, and he got 23.75 per cent. So him and Marine Le Pen getting less than 25 yeah. per cent of the vote. Is that a real issue then going forward? This is an issue, and you get, you get right, because we're not used to see, uh, except in 2002, which was quite a special election, but often people, the, the candidates who go to the second turn are above 25 percent, nearly 30 percent sometimes. So uh, what we can say today is that France used to be cut in two main blocks for years. Uh, I won't go in technical terms, but in history, it's like, it's like this, about 20 or 30 years. Today, we don't have any more two blocks. We have four or five blocks in, inside France. So we get four power struggling. And the fact is that um, uh, it's like a, what an expert said, a sparkling democracy. It's not very stable. We don't know what's going to occur, and we got to be very cautious and very uh, vigilant about what's going to be at the second turn. We're going to speak about this now, but uh, we got to be very careful about all the, the polls and all the, the new, the, the way the votes are going to refer, because nothing is written now. That's the thing. Benoît Hamon, um, François Fillon, they both called on their supporters to vote yeah. for Emmanuel Macron. But Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who also got a very high scar score, yeah. he didn't tell which way uh, his, his supporters sh sh should go. Um, so now we've got two weeks of campaigning by, like you say, two people who aren't part of the, the, the mainstream. Emmanuel Macron, and you set up his En Marche movement a year ago. Marine Le Pen uh, hasn't, uh, her party hasn't been in government before. So I guess it's hard to say you know, what to expect in the next couple of weeks, but it is looking like Macron will come out on top. Well, all the sign uh, goes to, to Macron on top, but we don't have to, to stall the democracy. It was very important before the first turn. It's also important before the second turn. Nothing is written, and I think it's very important that experts and media do not say to people, everything is written, don't move in, in two weeks, we don't need you. So I think it's a very dangerous game. So I think we should repeat that nothing is uh, is written, just to, to give you, we don't have a lot of time, but just to give you an, an insight, uh, at the time I'm, I'm talking to you, we don't know how the vote of François Fillon and the vote of Jean-Luc Mélenchon will refer. Uh, at this moment, we get approximately 30% to 40% of that voters who want 
move on the 7th of May. That is to say... Isn't it a long weekend as well? So people It's might also a long weekend. Even... It's often a sunny weekend and people do often uh, go out from, from their homes because it's a Monday and we don't work on Monday. But yesterday it was sunny also and people were to go, so we can expect a good mobilization. But the key point is that if François Fillon, if uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon um, well, once say give a signs for the vote, Jean-Luc Mélenchon did not, you've just said it. But we say in France that candidates are not, uh, they are not the owner of the votes, of the opinion. And that's a sentence that we repeat uh, every day for 10 years now. Jean-Luc Mélenchon, it's not my, uh, my opinion, it's just a, 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 an issue, uh, has said yesterday that people are free to vote for the, the one who, who they want. What is very um, fright for me, what is very frightening is that 10 years ago, there was a thousand and thousand of French people uh, who were uh, mob mobilized, who were at the Place of République to say no uh, to uh, National Front and Jean-Marie Le Pen, uh, like a, a very huge danger. Yesterday, we got the National Front at the top with one million votes more than in 2012, we got nearly 7.6 million of voters to Front National, National Front, sorry. It's historical results, and we didn't have anyone at the Place de la République. How do you explain that? I explained that the um, communication of National Front, and uh, accurately, the one of Marine Le Pen uh, did succeed. She managed to clean up the yeah, party's image. Definitely. Because the, the key point today is not how as you say, Mélenchon doesn't say anything. The key point is that it, 10 years, it was how to block the, 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 the pro-fascist or the nationalist. It was like a, a national uh, issue, you know. Today, it's like something written in the papers. Marine Le Pen is at the second turn, and it's normal, and we go working, and nothing has changed. All right, we'll have to leave it on, the, on that <laughs> Sorry, note. Thank no, you very I'm much scary, indeed. But, uh... Uh, no, well, thank you for your time and your analysis. Uh, Olivia Grégoire from Oli Kerr. Thank, thank you very you. much.